My name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 163. Number six. The second problem in the middle of the page is what we're going to do. Number six. Let's take a look at it. It says in 2008 the value of the export, the value of the export, value of the export was approximately what percentage greater than the value of the import. So the value of the export was what percentage greater than the value of the imports? Well, before we do any work at all, let's find out what these figures are for imports and exports for, for 2008. So I'm going to leave it up to you to look at the chart properly. It's very important that you, that you pay, uh, look at it properly. Because it's very easy to miss a one mark and then, of course, your answer is going to be wrong. Uh, According to what I see here, the exports in 2008 is 12. So export equals 12. And it seems to me that the imports, the value of the imports is for 2008 is 5. The value of the imports is 5. Before we worry about what percentage? Let's first figure out how much bigger is this. 12 is 7 more than 5. So the question basically here is, the question basically here is, 7 is what percent of 5? Now listen, there are two ways you can go about it. You can do the geeky way, the nerdy way, the classical way, the proper way if you like. Or you can do the quick and dirty way. I would just do it, stick with the quick and dirty. It is 7. 7 is made up of 5 and a 2. 5 represents the 100%. And 2 out of 5, because, we, because we're comparing with the 5, 2 out of 5 is another 40%. So that's it. That's your answer. It's 140% more. The, the export is 140% more. But like I said, if you're hell-bent on doing the proper way, then, then of course I'm here to please you. Let's do the proper way. 7 is means equal. Is means equal. Where we see what? We replace with the unknown. Traditionally we, we use x for the unknown. Doesn't have to be x. If you use y, nobody's going to knock on your door in the middle of the night. How do we translate percent? Percent, percent means exactly what it says. Percent means per 100. Per 100. That's where the word century comes from. Per cent means per 100 or out of 100. That's what percent means. If someone says 5%, 5 percent, 5 percent is 5 out of 100. If someone says 10 percent, 10 means 10 percent means 10 out of 100. And 50 percent would mean 50 out of 100 or half. You know that already, obviously. So percent means over 100. Over whatever the amount is, over 100. X percent is x over 100. 5 percent as we just said is 5 over 100. So what percent is what over 100? What does off mean? This, what does this off mean? Off means times or multiply. For example if I ask you how much is how much is half of 10 well half off means times Half of 10, of course, is 5. If somebody were to ask you how much is half of half, what would we do? We'll take a half. Off means times. Times half. And of course, half of half is one quarter. And so forth. So let's finish this stuff. I'm going to erase this extra part so we don't get confused with our solution. This was just, this was just something there for... Alright, so... Off means times 5. And you just solve for x. If this is the route you want to go, as I told you, this is how this is the most straightforward way. 
Let me erase all of this thing because we need the room here. Let's erase all of this thing. So multiply both sides by 100 and this side by 100. So cancel out this one 100. So therefore 5x equals 100 times 7 and therefore x equals 100 times 7 over 5. How many, fi how many fives in 100? There are 20 fives in 100 and x equals 20 times 7. Voila, 140 is our answer. That is, that is if you choose to go this miserable way. I'm going to show you one more time what I, what I did here. We're going to show one more time. What the very first thing we did was ask ourselves how much is the new value more compared to the old value. The old value was 5, the new value is 12. How much greater is it? Before we worry about the percentage greater, let's first talk about how much greater is it. 12 is 7 more than 5. 12 is 7 more than 5. So now the question is, what does this represent as a percent? Well, I know 7 is made up of 5 and a 2. Well, 5 is our original number. That's 100%. And then 2 compared to 5, 2 compared to 5, well, that's 40%. So, so the increase must have been... The increase must have been 140%. That's all. That's it. We're done. I will see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.